Hey everybody. Uh, the name of this video is Do Not Do This If You Have a Greenhouse. Now, as you can see, I had the bigger greenhouse. In fact, it's all the way back here. 15 foot greenhouse. Pretty big. Uh, I enjoy having all the room. It really is nice. But don't do what I did. Um, I had snow, uh, cold snap came. I put it, plants in here, and shut it up and left it for maybe three days or four or something like that because I didn't want to open it back up. If it's cold and you open it up, all the warm air goes out. So I left it shut up. I come out here. I had plants that was digressing into getting used to the greenhouse and leaves was falling off. Well, when the leaves fell off, they rotted and mold started. So I've had a terrible time with the mold. I have been using white vinegar to spray the floor down, uh, spray the walls, you know, and trying to get it and trying not to get on the plants too much. Because um, I don't know if it hurt them or not, but you know, you got to get rid of the mold. You just got to. So anyway, it's doing better. Um, I hope you all are well. Let me give you a little tour of it. Let's see. I broke my camera. I had it on a tripod and I knocked it over and it broke the thing where you um, put it on. There's my mimosas where you put it on the stand. And he's trying to shed a little bit. This is a banana plant. He's got water on him. And there's my little pond lilies had to clean them all out. They had, had a bunch of rotten stuff in there. Uh, I've got little, uh, there they are, little peppers. Well, you know, um, they may do, they may go ahead and grow and do fine or not. Now, you can see where I got, that's got mold on it. Can you see it? That's got mold. So it has to go out and be cleaned before it comes back in. If it comes back in, it may not come back in. We'll set it out there for right now. My little Christmas cactus and all that. I don't know. Anyway, it's supposed to get down to 30, so it's going to be colder here. So I've got the um, uh, the pineapples growing. Nothing on them yet, but I, I've got them growing. If you have a problem with those, uh, put them in the ground. Don't try to root them in water because it might just didn't do that well. So you put them in here. Uh, I think you're getting your feet a little too wet. You can tell by the way it looks. Um, anyway, back here is usually the workstation, and I've always got a mess there. Always. So anyway, but that's the way it looks in here now. Um, I've got a few things outside. Here's my water, my water barrels. I always fill these up. It's really nice to have the water. Get the dark ones. Get the dark ones. Because that will, um, you know, so it won't turn green, have algae and stuff in there. That really does work. I have these in case uh, we have hurricanes down here. Uh, if we have a hurricane, then uh, if the power's off, we can't use our well. So I always have these filled up for that, but there's nice, if you just, something needs a little bit of water and stuff and run your hose all the way back here, you know, all that, you can do it real easy with just uh, dipping into that water. And uh, I had one of these that stayed for uh, the whole summer, I think it was, and I thought I was going to have to clean it out. And when I got in there, the water was just as pretty as it was when I put it in there. So these black barrels really do help. So that's it. Do not leave your plants. When you first put them in here, they kind of have a get, I got to get used to being in here type thing going on. And you need to watch them very carefully. Like I said, I left them for three or four days and because uh, I wanted to keep it shut up and keep it warm in here. Well, that was not a good thing because all it did was let stuff drop off, mold was an issue and now I'm still fighting that stuff. So uh, if you see anything, dead leaves or something like this one here, just go ahead and pull it. See? 
go ahead and take it off because it's going to cause a problem. Uh, the rest of them are new. They're putting out pretty good. If you see any bad ones, pick them off. Uh, and get rid of them. Don't leave them in here. I do have some leaves in my plants, but uh, it's for the... I also put fish worms in my, in my plants. I don't know if you knew that or not, but I do. And uh, it keeps them... Uh, it's natural fertilizer for them. And it keeps your dirt, uh, you know, softer. All right, this is a lavender rose. And uh, it's Lavender Rose's garden. Come back to see me anytime. Please like, subscribe, send to your friends. And I'll keep you up on what's going on in the greenhouse. I got some funny stories to tell. And uh, I'll be doing that sometime soon. All right, bye-bye for now.